am the theatre coordinator here in Forth Valley Royal Hospital. My role in theatre includes patient safety lead, and from that role, I've got a great motivation to also improve our patients' experiences as well as our patients' safety. So, which one is more important? Patient involvement or patient safety? It's a contentious debate within the professional literature. And NHS Forth Valley, as Angela has said, are leading the way in Scotland with our patient safety outcomes. We have had a number of boards come to visit us, so NHS Lothian have now been twice because they just can't grasp the work that we've done and how we've managed to achieve the results we have. Within theatres, we have created a team culture through the use of safety briefings and using the World Health Organisation Safer Surgery Checklist, which allows us to detect and rectify any issues that could potentially cause harm. However, involving patients in their care in theatre is indeed very challenging. Patients are with us for such a short period of time in theatre compared to their whole episode of care, and it's very difficult to build a relationship with our patients within that time frame. Decisions around treatments and surgery have already taken place by the time our patients reach us in theatre, and there still appears a mystery around theatres, perhaps because most theatre departments do have restricted access, also the way theatres are portrayed in TV drama shows, etc. And the fact that some of our patients don't actually recall their time in theatre with us. So people's perceptions um, are a bit ambiguous and therefore their anxiety levels are very high. Research and evidence tells us that standardisation equals safe care. But patients aren't standard. So we shouldn't be standardising our interactions with our patients. So it's these interactions we've focused on within theatre to look at our patient involvement and experience endeavours. Having seen a lot of the work going on in Forth Valley in recent times and currently, focused on patient involvement, patient experience, we felt that we were missing an opportunity within theatre to help add in to the whole of the patient journey to make it as positive an experience as possible. We undertook a number of observations of care and that gave us a starting point to see what interactions can we look at and focus on that have the most impact on our patients' experiences. It allowed us to give staff feedback and then provide learning sessions for staff focus on first impressions, etc. From that, we also needed to know what did our patients think, so what was our patients' feedback. There were no tools out there that we could just take on and use for places like theatres, so we developed our own patient experience tool. The questionnaire is given to all patients coming through our ambulatory care unit, which means every patient coming in for day surgery or 23-hour surgery gets a patient experience questionnaire to complete. The feedback from these questionnaires are used to inform our working practices every single day. We discuss that feedback every single morning with our whole teams. However, a lot of the questionnaires, when they came back, they didn't have specific comments on them. So we engaged with our patient public panel members and through their involvement, we've tweaked the questionnaires again and we're now getting a lot more comments back which then has a better impact on our practices in the department. From a safety perspective, we must undertake a number of checks that ensure we have the right patient at the right time for the right procedure. But this is an example of some of our patients' perceptions of those checks. So the day surgery nurse asked me who I was, the theatre nurse asked me who I was, anaesthetic nurse asked me who I was, and then the anaesthetist asked me who I was, why don't people know who I am? It would appear that we've put safety before our patient's experience. But that was just a failure to explain to our patients why we need to do these checks. And failure to explain things properly to our patients absolutely increases their anxiety. 
So getting feedback from our patients have led to positive changes in our working practice and that's now absolutely evident from the questionnaires that we now get back. So although we are presented with a great challenge of how to involve our patients in their care and data, we can absolutely ensure that they're better informed. We are just at the beginning of our patient safety, sorry, patient involvement work, we're way far down the line for patient safety work. But within theatre, we do have a long way to go. But we have a number of staff with the ideas and the will to overcome the challenges around how do you include patient involvement and patient experience in such an area like theatres. We have patient and public panel members who are willing and eager to engage with us and help us with this work. And most importantly, we have enabled a significant shift in our local culture which now supports this work. Thank you.